good morning. I'm Sly. It's Easter morning. And we got some walleyes last night. Brady and I. So we're going to have a little demonstration on how we clean them and stuff and prep them for cleaning. Yeah, we did pretty good last night. We got six. Limits three apiece, so we limited out. We had Aspen along. He went for the boat ride. Yeah, it was just nice to get out. It was so nice out. It was 60 some degrees. So we're going to show you how we clean fish. Thanks. Okay, so the first thing we do is we cut through the heart. Make sure we get the heart. Toss them in a pail of water. Let them bleed out. That's crucial. They taste, uh, it's just so much better when they're let out. The meat's nice and white. It's just a clean eating fish. It's a, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how they taste. But the bleeding out part is, is pretty crucial. Right there, Aspen. Yeah, so we just take our knife and we cut right through the V in the gills. The heart's right here. You cut through the heart, they bleed out nice. Just take your electric knife. Cut through. Cut the belly right away. Follow the backbone. Push it over. I don't like to cut through the tail. And we got something to hang on to. Get rid of the ribs. I usually have a fork for this. Leave the tail on and the backbone and stuff. We've got something to hang on to here. That's crude. Waste goes in the bucket. Don't dig in too deep with the knife, you'll cut right through the backbone. First walleyes we got, we didn't go last year at all. Hate to say it, but we we're pretty busy at work. Just 
I usually don't let that stop me work. Sometimes you just gotta get stuff done. Yeah, I love leaving that tail section on. You got something to hang on to. Got some pretty healthy walleyes and got a lot of fat in them. Been like that for a long time. Pretty healthy. They still bite. Yeah, you just grab a flame knife, get it started in the tail, give it a little bit of an angle, and then just pull back on the tail. Pull the play through the knife. So the difference is these fillets are pretty white. If you don't bleed them out, they got a pink tint to them. And uh, that makes a world of difference when it comes to eating them. So, after we get everything kind of prepped, make sure there's no rib bones in it or any other rib fin bones. There's a line of bones right here, you can feel them in this lateral line. It follows this line that comes right up through the tail. So, the other trick is uh, both sides of this lateral line, make a slice, and then just peel it. You got two fillets out of one. And that takes out, that's all bones right here. All those little bones that you choke on. Nobody likes eating fish with bones in it. Then we got a clean fillet, no bones. Yeah, we just trim them up a little bit. With these big females, they don't have much of a belly. Cut on both sides of the ladder line. Zip right off. I can get it to pull now. All bones right here. And plus you get rid of that mud line that's in the tail. Greasy. Hard to hang on to. So that one I didn't get them all, so I'll just take the knife and I'll just make sure I got them out of there. The zipping trick, I seen some guys on on a TV show one time and they were fishing Lake Erie. And when they were cleaning their fish, they did the zipping. They call it zipping it. Because I never knew that trick. This is worry free right here. Your wife and your kids will love you. So yeah, doing this, this makes all the difference in the world for the taste and everything. And you, you do all these things, you bleed them out, you zip the white bones out of them, or you'll love it. See, all that stuff is basically mud line and stuff. You don't want that in there anyway, that'll kill the taste. And then when, I usually freeze them like this, and then when they're thawing out, I'll take and I'll skim all this little brown, the mud line, mud line off the back of the filet. All that little stuff helps. Everybody who eats the fish appreciates it. Appreciates it. So everything you can do to make this taste good, 
or better walleye tastes good to begin with but it makes a world of difference so yeah now i'll just rinse them in water and make sure they're soaked for a little bit yeah if you do all that you'll have a awesome fish fry if you never tried it before it's worth the extra effort to bleed them out and zip them and I just wanted to show you how we clean them. I'm not saying it's the only way to clean them. I'm sure everybody else has their own way of doing stuff and that's fine. Whatever works for you, works for you. It's just, I just like having new ideas once in a while. If something works better, then I, I'll, I'll do it. That's, a little bit of knowledge doesn't hurt anybody. So. Aspen walking around checking out all the boats <laughs> Right oh. well, I hope this video helped you out a little bit uh, Aspen and I are just going for a little boat ride not very far So nice out Remember people, life is short. You have to enjoy every moment of it. It's just so much out here in nature to enjoy. You don't have to catch something or kill something to enjoy it. You can go for a walk. Just get out there. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.